Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski. I am the owner for Tutor with Paul. And today we are going to be discussing a popular SAT problem. For the SAT problem, what we're going to be covering is the, the problem usually starts with, they'll give you four different test scores. They'll say something like, um, John took four tests and his first score was 79. His second score was an 82 third score was an 86 and the fourth score was an 80, a 92. What does he need to score on his fifth test in order to have an 85 percent average? And they might reword this um, problem a couple different ways however they're usually going to give you four different test scores and they're going to give you an average and they're going to ask you what the fifth test score needs to be. And in order to solve this the first thing what you're, first thing you do is you set up your structure. And the structure is always going to look like this. You always start with your division. And then what you're going to do is you're going to see how many test scores um, how many test scores there were. They give us four and we're trying to fill in the fifth one. So we know there could be five test scores. We're going to put four addition problems, assigned. We also know there's going to be five tests. We're going to put our 5 in the denominator. We also know our average is going to be 85. So this will be the structure we're going to use. Now the only thing we now need to do is start plugging in our numbers. We have a 79. We have an 82. We have an 86. And we have a 92. And for the fifth score that we do not know, we are going to use an X. So this is the step one. We set up our structure, then we plug in the numbers. Step two, again, we're going to set up our structure. We're going to drop what we know, which is the 85. We're going to drop the 5. Our next step, we're going to add the four test scores. That's going to give us 3, 3, 9. Nothing we can do with this x. We can't add x to 339. So we're just going to drop our x. So now that we've got all our addition taken care of, the next thing we're going to look at is how are we going to get x by itself? Well, upstairs is, is tied by addition, so there's nothing we can do with that. The only thing we can do is get rid of this 5. This 5 is tied to this term right here by division, the opposite of division is going to be our multiplication. Whatever we do to one side, we're going to do to the other side. So this is tied to by division, opposite of multiplication, we're going to multiply the other side by 5. 5 over 5 is going to give us 1, so we just leave 339 plus x is equal to 425. Our next step is again, we're still trying to get x by itself. We have 339 tied to x is by addition, so we're going to subtract. Again, whatever we do to the right, we're going to do to the left. That goes to 0. Drop our x. And 425 minus 339 is going to give us an 86. Hopefully, working through this um, popular SAT problem will help you all um, identify this on your next SAT test and apply the structure to properly solve the question. If anyone would like a little bit more help preparing for the SAT, please don't hesitate to contact me at tutorwithpaul.com, and I hope everyone has a great day.